With the release of Gears of War 4 Rise of the Horde, the Sniper class received a major buff in the form of three new Horde class skills. Keep watching to find out how to use these new skills to dominate in Horde. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Chris with Blind Man's Bluff Gaming. Welcome back and I hope you're doing awesome. If you're new to the channel, are you looking for more Gears of War 4 Horde Tips and Tricks videos? If so, go ahead and tap that subscribe button. In addition, you guys can follow me on Twitter at BMB Gaming and you can follow me on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is X space blood space washed. Now with this Gears of War 4 Rise of the Horde update, the Sniper class can now not only be a good slayer, but also be a very powerful support player. In a little bit I'll share with you over 20 Gears of War 4 Horde tips to maximize your Sniper class's lethality, but first, how to make your Sniper Horde class stronger. After your Horde match you'll receive XP, Horde class XP and credit. You can use those credits to buy Horde Booster Packs in the store. In those Horde Booster Packs, you'll get Horde Skill Cards that you can use to upgrade your skills. Now one strategy people use is to focus on a skill, say Headshot Damage, that they want to level up and then scrap the other cards they don't want. Here's a tip, if you're not going to play multiplayer, you can go through and destroy your MP bounties for some extra scrap. Tip number two, you can also scrap characters and weapon skins that you don't want. So for example, if you don't play multiplayer, you can scrap all the swarm and DB enemy characters you get. Now for the sniper class in Gears of War 4 Horde, I highly recommend prioritizing maxing out headshot damage, precision rifle damage, and the new Horde skill called Shot. Now headshot damage is important because it stacks on any gun except turrets. Precision rifle damage because as a sniper you should be using precision rifles like the long shot, Marksa, and Mbar. And the new horde skill called Shot will give you up to 40% bonus damage at level 6 to targets you mark for all sources. So from your gun, your teammates guns, sentries, turrets, strikes, everything. Now called Shot will allow you to melt bosses guardians, and generally any enemy unlucky enough to get marked. Gears of War 4 Rise of the Horde Sniper Builds Build number one, the Slayer. Skill number one, Headshot Damage. Now Headshot Damage stacks on any gun so it gives you flexibility. Skill number two, Precision Rifle Damage. This increases your Marksa, Mbar, and Longshot base damage, which includes body shots. Skill number three, Magic Bullet. Critical hits with precision rifles like the long shot, marks or M-Bar penetrate through enemies and increase the damage of the next shot. So if you get a headshot, it shoots right through the dude and hits the guy behind him. Skill number four, the new horde skill called shot. Targets you mark take damage from all sources, teammates, sentries, strikes, etc. Skill number five, precision rifle capacity, Precision Rifle Reload, Explosive Headshot, whatever you like. Now for harder difficulties, I suggest putting on Steady Hands in this slot instead. And Steady Hands is a new Horde skill that says it takes less damage and you have less camera shake when being attacked while aiming or scoping. So this is actually very important for insane or even inconceivable. Gears of War 4, Rise of the Horde Sniper Build number 2, the Support Sniper. Skill number 1, Precision Rifle Damage. Skill number 2, Headshot Damage. Skill number 3, Called Shot. Targets you mark take increased damage from all sources. Skill number 4, Mark Boost. This will allow you to mark multiple targets with Called Shot. Skill number 5, Magic Bullet. Now for harder difficulties like Insane or Inconceivable, I suggest removing Magic Bullet and replacing it with Steady Aim because again it allows you to take less damage and have less camera shake when being attacked while aiming or scoping, which is very important as a sniper because sometimes it takes a while to line up your shot. 
Gears of War 4 sniper build number three the, for the M bar. Now this is just for the M bar. If you just that's your gun, this is what you want to use. Skill number one, precision rifle damage. Skill number two, headshot damage. Skill number three, precision rifle capacity. This horde skill will effectively double your precision rifle ammo, allowing you to shoot through the whole wave with your M bar. Skill number four, called shot. Skill number five, magic bullet. And again, on harder difficulties, I suggest removing this and putting on steady aim for the damage mitigation. Gears of War 4 Rise of the Horde Sniper Build number 4 for the long shot. Now this build is specifically if you just want to use the long shot. Skill number 1 Precision Rifle Damage Skill number 2 Headshot Damage Skill number 3 Magic Bullet Skill number 4 Precision Rifle Reload Now Precision Rifle Reload will dramatically shorten the long shot's reload time, allowing you to effectively double your fire rate. Skill number five, steady hands. Now this is important on any difficulty because, at least to me, what it, the camera shake, what it really affects is the long shot, especially when you're scoped in. So this is a major benefit, and you know obviously you can use it on any difficulty. Now these sniper builds are just guidelines. They're just ideas for you guys to get started with. It doesn't mean that you can't use different skills or try different things. This is just a starting position and what I suggest is actually starting with one of these and just really getting a feel for your play style and what you're really good at and just try different skills and see if they work better for you. Now in a little bit I'll reveal to you two techniques you can use for hitting moving targets but first Gears of War 4 sniper tips. Tip number one, if you're playing on PC, try the sniper class. You will dominate on PC because of your increased aiming capacity. Tip number two, use a weapon locker to cycle sniper rifles. You can use these instead of using the precision rifle capacity skill. Tip number three, try aiming out of cover using both left and right sticks. Tip number four, don't try and hit every shot. Just relax and keep shooting. Be aware if you're tensing on shots and just relax. Or tip number five, generally speaking, the further the target is away from you, the easier it will be to hit them because they make smaller movements. Or tip number six, don't overlook the marksa. It can be very powerful if you're hitting headshots, especially with a magic bullet. With Magic Bullet, each consecutive headshot increases the next shot's damage. Or tip number seven, swap out your snub pistol for a Bulltock because it does more damage per shot and it's gonna work with your headshot damage. When you're looking for a good spot to set up as a sniper in Gears of War 4 Horde, look for a good lane where enemies are coming straight at you at medium to long range. In addition, you want to be able to hit enemies before turret fire does. You may need to reposition throughout the game to find the best spot. Or tip number nine, if possible, shoot into the enemy spawn. Now this can be especially useful against guardians. When guardians spawn, their shield is inactive for a few seconds. Hit them in this window and you get an easy kill. Or tip number 10, Look for areas where enemies pool up. Tip number 11, use the long shot at long range and an M bar or the Marksa at assault rifle range. With the sniper class, try and avoid short range combat. Now again, this is all preference. Really test out which gun really works for you and then use that gun. I know uh, a guy I play with a lot, he loves the M bar and he's just a monster when he gets one. He's pretty good with the other guns, but the M bar he's just in another class with it. Horde tip number 12, adjust your gun loadout for your position. If you have long range shots available, keep your long shot. If you're in a medium range situation, swap out your long shot. Horde tip number 13, prioritize scions and DRs. In addition, keep an eye out for stationary enemy opportunities. How to hit moving targets in Gears of War 4 Horde. Now there are two methods you can use for hitting moving targets and you'll need to use both of them. The first technique is called the tracking method. With this technique, you line up your reticle 
to the moving target, matching its speed and direction and firing when it's lined up. The second technique is called the ambush method. With this technique, you estimate the moving target's speed and direction and place your reticle where they're going to be, firing when they enter your trap. For example, the boom shot scions like to wobble side to side as they walk. If you use tracking technique, you would try and move your reticle back and forth with them very hard. Now with the ambush technique, you would place the reticle on one side and fire when the scion's head moves back, which is much easier. If you are looking for more Gears of War 4 Horde tips and tricks videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until next time guys, this is Chris, have an awesome one.